Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We are about to do something that is scaring me like crazy here in our new hope run. We are going to go to our world and we're going to visit this site. We're going to leave, I think today, we're butchering the last of the donkeys, making a little bit more pemping. Uh, well, is it the last one? No, it's not actually the last one. Oh, the other thing I just remembered is I want some bedrolls for this. We have a lot of cotton ready to go. Cloth bedrolls. Yeah, cloth bedrolls. One, two. Why do I never build them in straight line? It doesn't matter because we're going to go and um, uninstall them in a sec, but it's still kind of annoying. We'll build those because we're bringing five people with us. We'll have five bedrolls because we're going to sleep overnight on the way there because it's 0.7 days to go. So, I mean, unless we left at exactly the right time, we're going to sleep regardless. And I think we're just going to plan on the fact that we're going to sleep on the way there. We've got a few people who are still bruised from a social fight, which is annoying. Um, we'd also really like some tailoring to go on. Smogger. I like you recovering from the bed rest, but I want you to get some clothing going on real quick. Some more people are going around in the buff, actually. Oh, okay. Devil's Trend pants are too low percentage here. So, he, if people wore them, they would be tainted. Or, not tainted, but it would be tattered. Might still be acceptable here. Yeah, people are going to start evaluating the clothing, put that stuff on. I mean, I could force it as well, but I guess I could force it and then clear it. So, at least your junk is going to be covered now. There we go. Also make sure that we get another set of pants being made quite quickly rather than progressing through and going all the way to duster. Like we don't need the duster being made right now. As long as people are equipping the pants and shirts quickly enough, then we're gonna be okay. I think Liz, reserved by Shari. Is Shari also involved? Shari might've just been looking for a clothing upgrade. But I know you didn't have anything on. Okay, go, go Pemmican. I think I don't want to go before we go to sleep. If we, if we didn't get this set up. I guess I can wait until tomorrow, but we got to go pretty early. Who's our constructors? Oh, speaking of you, you're hauling wood. Um, come over here. Work on these uh, bedrolls, please. Okay, plan is going to be to leave, do something like leave midday tomorrow. Back to relaxing. Oh yeah, because you are, yeah, you were scheduled to do recreation and sleep. A uh, small girl, I'll reset you as well, so you can look after that stuff. We've got a little bit of clothing left. We're in chest. Oh yeah, the shirts are also required for our people. Printing work site. You know, I remember on the map over here, we had a logging site. I think over here for a while, but it probably expired. We might have to actually go and raid these um, logging sites. It's a rough world out here in the rim. We might have to do that. Also, getting this light up would be nice. I guess, you know what? Hope, why don't you do a little more construction when you're up? Help out with that, actually. I'm going to get your prioritize work in the floodlight. Well, I made those, but someone will probably get around to it. I'm going to deconstruct these two lamps because we don't need them anymore. Bedrolls are done, so I need to uninstall, not deconstruct. We've done that a lot. We need to uninstall these. Actually, Hope, could I get you to prioritize? Doing those, please. Good, good, good. Pemmican job. Again, at, probably at noon we're going to leave. We have another donkey there. I, uh, we're going to go regardless. We might not process all the meat, but that's okay. We can put some back in the... Uh, nutrient paste poppers over here. Do what you can. I guess it's going to have to be okay. So what's everyone doing? You're resting. You're hauling wood. Oh, to spike traps. Right. We still have the tree cutting set over here. Okay, I think I'm going to cancel that bit. We need someone to just do actually a haul. Because what they're doing... Yeah, see, they're hauling only the minimum amount of wood. If you're going to come over here... Let me target over here. I'm going to say prioritize hauling because then you'll grab as much as you can and then bring it over to stockpile. It's going to be much more efficient. Closing on a noon, which again is going to be our departure time. 
Nyoka, I'd feel a lot better if you were happier before we left, but I guess it's going to be okay. Oh, okay. Here's the other thing. I think we should put everyone on the tea policy, other than Pug. And Smogger specifically, you need to go and have a drink of Psychite tea, because right now, you are being affected by your Psychite dependency. Um, oh, no, you did it seven hours ago. No, you're fine. Never mind. Okay. I guess you are drinking it. Hey. It's noon. Time to go. World map. Send caravan. Oh, 0.4 days. What was it 0.7 before? I guess it's fine. So, wait, can I not click and drag this? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're not bringing hope. We're not bringing pug. We're going on the pemmican just to be sure. I think we're going to be fine there. We're going to bring some herbal medicine. Do I want to bring some glitter world medicine. I don't know, but I think I'm going to bring more herbal. And then you've got the bedrolls. Good. I'm so nervous. Wait three days. Okay, it's gonna go a lot faster than I expect. So nervous. All right, you grabbed all the pemmican. I, I could have brought some psychic. I think we're gonna be fine. I know we've got a psychic dependency person going, but they just had a dose. It's probably fine. Hope, yeah, hope is back on construction. Although I think what I might do. Bring it down. Oh, you can construct that. You can construct that. It's a little dimmer than it was, but still okay. You can do repair work. Actually, you know what? That seems okay. All these traps are up. All right, that's all good. Oh man. I have the nerves. I have intense nerves. Um, do I want to turn meat stuff back on here? Well, if anything, if we get meat, I might still just want to process into pemmican. Actually, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll keep meat off these hoppers. Although this is arguably, it might rot while the people are away. But I guess what I could do temporarily is turn the meat back on. I know that's like turned all of it on, but that's okay. Um, that's interesting. Why am I not getting a hauling command for this? On the right click. because it's already in a stockpile, but it should get moved to the hopper. You're preferred. This is critical. I mean, presumably someone will, but I'm a little confused. All right, we're almost on site. I could pause. I could force a rest. I'm going to do that. I'm going to force a rest. And as soon as we get to midnight, I can turn this off. The idea is I want them to arrive here fully rested. And ideally, I think they do a little bit of recreation. I think they do social interaction. Just try to stack those. Uh, maybe it's 2,200 hours, actually, they stop. If I do this, you should... Oh, you started moving. Can we mess with their rest timer by doing this manually? Flesh mass. Okay, we have arrived. Can you not tell me anything else about it? There's just flesh mass everywhere. And dead people, but theoretically lootables. Solid mass, twisted flesh, it throbs and shivers with horrible life. I hate this. Uh, okay, let's get close. We'll see if people start shooting at things. There's a flesh bulb. Bulbous mass flesh. These flesh beast organs store and refine nutrients for surrounding flesh mass. The chemical process generates a soft bioluminescent glow. If we kill that, does it kill the rest of the flesh? Is it going to start aggroing them? I don't want to get any closer. Okay, presumably I can I can attack the flesh mass. Okay, it all popped. Oh, okay, there's a flesh beast over here. A tough spike. There might be more in some of these rooms too. Are you guys aggroed at all? You count as hostile. You don't count as hostile, but I think we're going to go ahead and shoot you. Oh, no, there they come. How'd you take damage? You can fling spikes. 
Area is now safe. Okay. I mean, you say that. I don't know how safe I feel. Oh yeah, I did install two explore finally. So we can do a deconstruct. Okay. I'm worried that we got spiked and now we're contaminated. Part of me is like, let's not bring anything back from this horrible place. Poke all the rooms. Uh -huh. Oh, ambush. Flesh beasts are emerging from a nearby pit. Okay, uh, let's pull right back to where we were. They might come into this choke point a little bit. Uh, they might come from the side. Although, if we're walking this way, if they want to follow over here. Some are. Some are going for a flank. We're not moving at all. That thing is fast. Yoko's taking all the damage. How bad off are you there, buddy? Okay, you are currently bleeding to death. Let's pull back to here. Might have to pull back my Yoko a little bit just to. Oh, they're attacking my build. Maybe because I claimed them? Okay. It's exploded. Ooh, okay. Interesting. is now safe again so you say um the second we embark on the caravan people will get some treatment but i need to go and pop this door to see what's inside it should be fine um oh how do i get Gonna de deconstruct as well. Can I come through here? No. And this door. Oh, there was a door here I could have used. Uh, ish. I think it would have been okay. We're gonna go to the world map. I don't think I have to um unforbid everything. I think that was one of the things I always would do out of paranoia, but it's not actually required. I guess we'll. Mm, that is really heavy. Not bringing the corpses. I guess we'll bring some weapons, even though they're going to be crap. I thought they said they had some old tech to offer me. Recently discovered shards of Arco technology. Whoever's willing to come help. I should blow up more of the blobs? If we're going to do that, we're going to have to make sure to medicalize some beds here. Stop bleeding. Might get infections. Okay, gomp. I'm sorry, we don't have a gun. Why'd you drop this? What did I do? Okay, you are desperately hungry. I'll let you eat. Uh oh, we'll do we'll go ahead and do an unforbid all here. As well. Although it looks like you were gonna eat the pemmican regardless. I don't know if their pemmican is safe.
Oh, the orc continuing to attack. That's kind of handy. Once I flag some of this stuff to attack, you keep going. I say, from a quality of life perspective, that's not something I'm used to. Like, oh no, I'm, I'm going to need a flesh mass de uh, deconstruction mod. I need tweaks galore to let me deconstruct flesh mass. You know what I mean? There's a larger one over there. Flesh sack. Oh, contents unknown. Okay. Although, do we want to bring that home? I mean, this would be the, the stage at which you're yelling at, like, the characters in the movie. Like, why are you being so stupid? Why would you ever... It says area safe again. When did it become unsafe? There we go. There's our shard. Okay. Now we're going to leave. Bring everyone. Yes. Bring the shard. Some crummy weapons. I may as well bring some as many slag chunks as I can bring with us. We could bring some furniture. We need a good marble bed. I don't, I don't think that's worthwhile. We'll bring the extra pemmican. They had extra bed rolls. Is going to slow us down. I could leave our crappy ones behind. Not really changing our transport time. It's mostly these slag chunks over here. You know what? We can live without this. Travel time 0.5. Because this is just going to be steel, I think. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to leave that behind. Okay, but we got ourselves a shard. No one died, although we took some injuries. I didn't check to see if anyone's lost a body part or anything. And you actually should be back here before the end of the day. I guess I didn't have to worry about bed rolls at all. Especially since we could sleep on site. I hope some, some research is good. Oh, this room has to be floored up for dirt control. Um, cancel those because I don't think anyone can reach those tiles. So Pug's going to do some hauling. Caravan, nearly home. Good. Yeah, we might go and raid those lumber sites. But we've got time. That that one of them isn't going to disappear for a while, but it will be really nice if we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Nyoka's fully healed. That's good. Cherie's fully healed. That's great. No one got an infection. That is wonderful. Well, that we know of. Maybe we should do exploratory surgery on people and make sure they don't have any weird stuff with them. Steel, because we do actually have a lot of steel actually available as is. When people get back, we're going to want to kill or finish this little kill box kind of area. Still not sure about all these wooden traps, but maybe we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, it's because of this car. I was looking at the save. I saw this car and I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to go and punch debris anymore. So we're just going to do a deconstruct command on that to get it out of here. It's just too unfun. All right, caravan has arrived. And we got a shard. Now, I think we still can't research the anomaly stuff. We need to poke the monolith before that gets unlocked. That's okay. You're very cranky. I mean, I don't blame you. Things are pretty miserable. Rebuff by hope again. Hope, I wonder if, if hope gets married. Do people stop trying to hit on them? That was a head like a puffy hat or hairstyle not a rabbit hope I'm gonna get you to do a chat with them please or should I tired hunger you're gonna be fine hope why don't you go and counsel Minyoka but really we should counsel him to stop hitting on us but basically we said it's okay we can still be friends okay go and chat chat so don't intel hacking Okay, there's no time limit on us accepting this. We can leave this in the queue. That's going to be fine. I don't really want to do the drone hacking right this second. What do we got here? We can sell you pemmican. I'm not sure we want to do that. We can sell you the shard. It's interesting. Uh, we could sell you a bunch of psychite, which is probably fine. Keep that. Manuscript of the Jackalope. Okay, so this is a 
this is an anomaly book. You read it, mental, you get a mental break chance. But it does give you research towards a tech. I don't think we need that right now. Not that we even have the money for it. I'm not sure we're buying anything from these guys. We could preemptively buy some Neutromine, but we don't actually have the tech to take advantage of it. I might just take the silver. Now, you know what? I'm going to take the Neutromine. And we'll plan on getting, like, at least, at the very least, Panoxiclin tech researched. That's going to be good to have around. We're in a desert. Disease rates are a little lower. Ooh. Um, I was going to say, I think the way to counter this is some passive heaters. Of course, that is going to require more wood. Maybe for now, I'm just going to plan on getting one more of these. This might not be enough to stop it from getting sweaty, but at least should keep it below hyperthermia levels. Yeah, I hope still in construction. I'll probably turn that off in a sec, but the fact that she's working right now is actually very useful. And I say that. Oh, no, you are still hauling steel. Good. And then consume a nutrient paste meal. I guess that was fine. Okay, back to hauling components. Okay. 33, 30, 29. Okay. So far, the heat wave hasn't gone crazy. We're not hitting, like, the 40s or maybe even 50s yet. Oh, but we will. We'll keep an eye on things there. Okay, I'm going to enable, I know I wanted, oh, that's all pemmican, yeah, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to re-enable meat over here, although we have to keep off the human meat and insect meat because we don't actually like that. I'm going to copy those settings, paste them over here. I'll paste this here, but then what I'm going to do is turn off the non-meat stuff. So we're going to go back to our old thing. Meat goes here first, so we can consume it right away because we don't have refrigeration. We'll hope that that's fine enough. Oh, and hope, I'm gonna turn off your construction again. So you'll go back and spend your time researching, please. Big harvest happening. Yeah, we have our pen over here. What, no animals in it. I think we had, what, one horse and it got the plague, so we're like, nah. Are we seeing berry bush? Oh, because it's in the way over here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and we are getting some wood harvest, good. Yeah, we have, we have more crops assigned to be planted than we can actually maintain currently. Despite having three people on growing, although two of them are, ooh, dark vision, Minyoka. Become overwhelmed with horrible visions, rambling about things that only he can see. He will snap out of it in a few hours, happen because of poor mood. I believe this will give a mood, mood debuffs to people nearby as well. Not as bad as an insult spree, but still kind of annoying. Okay, we're gonna need some shelves in, I mean, it's not a fridge really, but we clearly need some shelves coming in soon. So that's the wrong tab. Over here. Um, oh, the sandstone's going over there. It says we have 20 made, but it's not in the list. And I know I can, yeah, slate. Maybe need a little bit more. Well, we have three of these stone cutters tables, but they're not happening. And people are just generally too busy. They're not getting to the, the low end work and doing some a hauling or first crafting, then hauling, then uh, some research assistance. And that'll probably continue to be the case while this is present here. Pods arrived. Oh, we helped Zach. We get a skill trainer for animals. So this just gives you yeah, trains, transmuting self. I don't think this gives you passion. This just gives you a bunch of XP, right? So in theory, we could give it to the person who's the best, although it might decay if they're not around. We could give it to Liz just to bring her on par with other people, or perhaps Cherie. Let's do Cherie with this. Let me, I mean, hold on, I'm gonna check. RimWorld skill trainer. <sighs> Substantially increase a single specific skill. It gives 50,000 XP modified by the pa passion. But not traits like too smart or fast learner. Okay. So. 
Someone with low skill, but with some passion for it, like Liz, would be the best target for it. Except that we might not care about Liz's animal handling. So I think, yeah, I'll let Shuri do it. 50,000 might not give her as many raw numbers because she's quite high up. I can bring her all the way up to 14, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I think that's okay. Not that we're actively doing much taming, although we could. We could tame some gazelles to bring in over here or just hunt them. If we could get some Ibexes, it might be the way to go. See, you know what? Don't do the dandelions. They're dying off, they're doing this, replacing this. I think I'd rather just grow the hay and then put down a little hay feeding spot. And right now, it definitely doesn't make sense to have the dandelions. Okay. What is everyone up to? Well, Hope is researching, which is fine. You're sewing, which I guess is fine. You're digging at the compacted steel, which... Actually, we don't need more than this right now. I'm going to cancel this again. So, Smogger, what are you going to do? You're going to make the last uranium mace, which we might not actually need right now. But you've started it. I could cancel it, but then we'd lose some of the uranium. Just because we could wait for a higher skill. But it's fine. If we get another melee over, then we'll have a mace ready to go for them. And then I think Smogger will go around and mostly be working on clothing at that point. Or I could, I really could wait until your skill was better. I could go and bring down your spending. There you go. Spend your time tailoring for now instead. I'm not disabling it. I'm not canceling the job. Yeah. Black armor is done. So the next thing we need to do is go down all the gun tech. Do we... We've got a few weapons. Do I go and make a couple of heavy SMGs to cover the interim? Or do we go straight to assault rifles, which does need the fancy research bench and everything. It's like a quite a lot more of an investment. I think I probably for safety, and we have to research the um, I guess I can look there. Um, we have to research the tech for sorry, what was I saying? <laughs> for the heavy SMGs. Um, yeah, we pop out a couple because the, the tech push towards assault rifle takes such a long time. And it'd be nice to replace the revolver. The machine pistols are kind of crap. Yeah, we, we need to survive long enough to get there. So I think it's going to be okay. Machining table over here. Now, do we have simple helmets being made at the smith smithy? No, we don't. Which we could, but that's okay. Shred mechanoids. Make simple helmets. Black vest. Black pants. So this is forever. These are going to be due until X's. And we're just going to try to keep one of these around. What we could do is, is make the exact right amount for everyone. Because with the do, and, do until you have one around means we're always producing one more than we need. But at the same time, it means there's going to be one ready um, for if someone needs a quick replacement. Or if we um, get a new hire, they can go and get themselves armored up immediately. And push comes to shove, we can always sell these. I mean, yeah, it takes steel and components. But if we're selling these for a profit and then buying more components from that very same merchant, that's not so bad. So we'll protect the noggin first, the torso next, the legs last. I think this order is going to be fine. I don't think we have any mechanoids to shred, but that's going to be okay. I'm wondering about making some frag grenades. We uh, Could we just survive without heavy SMGs by using some frag grenades? They are, they do huge amounts of damage. We could get one frag grenade, at least, just to mix up our strats. That's an idea. I think I'm going to start moving these. Um, we don't have any chairs for people working here either for comfort. Although, again, dining chairs take wood or steel, both of which feels really bad. They are so much more time efficient, though, than the, the, the stone. But hunting work site. Okay, not really interested, I think, in pursuing that. That's fine. We could sell some of the extra bedrolls when you get a merchant. In fact, we could just sell the better ones. I wonder how much the bedroll quality really affects people on a caravan. Because with the bed quality, it increases the speed at which you get rest, but not necessarily the comfort buff that you get after it, I don't think. I might be wrong about that. Waste packs. I don't know if I want to do the pollution route here. Drug production, research, tech, low shield pack. Nah, I'm not interested. Oh! Prison Warden. This I'm fine with, though. None of these rewards are actually that critical. We don't need the advanced components right now. I don't think we need the gold or the Altex shirt. 
It's this is actually fine. Although with three of them, we might get prison breaks. Advanced components are great, but we can't use these for a long time. That's just gonna be sitting around generating wealth for us. Actually, yeah, I'm not interested in that quest. Solar flares more than a little annoying. People are gonna eat some pemmican in the meantime, which I guess is gonna have to be okay. What I might make sure to do though for the food policies during the the, the uh, solar flare, if they got hungry enough, they might decide to eat raw food. Oh, I've already disabled that, and the corpse is good. Okay. Because yeah, that's annoying. They're like, well, I can't run the nutrient paste dispenser, but I'm hungry. Let me eat some raw rice. It's like, dude, just wait a couple hours. It doesn't last that long. You'll be fine. Let's haul this because we're we maybe want to construct over here at some point, so we may as well just get that stuff sorted out. I don't have a smelter, although I think that's okay. I think we will want some extra batteries soon. We are adding some extra stations that use power. And power brownout now is just because of the solar flare. Oh, our air conditions aren't going to work right now either. But okay, see, it's already gone away. And yeah, I think our temperature manager is okay. I think it's still going to be fairly toasty in here with just three coolers. But I think we're going to be sufficient. At what point do I want to turn this into an actual freezer? If ever. Again, the only concern is really meat. I mean, the, the rice will at some point spoil. Some of it's gonna start spoiling soon. Maybe we do. Do items to trade? It's not an actual trade caravan. They're just visitors. All right, let's do it. Let's go and build two freezers, at which point I'm also gonna go and disable this door here because I'm not gonna want people walking through this and dropping temp. Reinforced barrels. Can we? No, we, we can't. I'm going to sell you this clothes. Some of it crappy, some of it less crappy. But we can't, we can't afford it, so we're not going to. I could sell, We've got a lot of cloth. Okay, starting to make uh, clothing for money is definitely going to be fine. Survival, I think we just hold on to the... Uh, you know what? I would like a little bit of regular medicine to give us some treatment options. Now, right now, everyone's set to only herbals, which is where I want it. Yeah. Build up these. Two should be fine for the space. It might have a little hard time with the heat wave, but otherwise it's okay. Gunsmithing, we're going to want to blow back afterwards. So gunsmithing does give us some things of value, I got to say. The bolt-action rifles can be kind of nice. I mean, very slow to fire, so the DPS is low, but it's got good range. Blowback operations feels like crap. I never want to build these, especially since gas operation is so close. It could just remove the, the one tech and just make the other one more expensive. But I do like having more weapon variety for what people show up with. I'm just never going to bother making them. Three's got heat stroke. Yeah, theoretically, this should be going down. And yeah, it actually just went away. Good. It's cool enough in this room that you're okay. If people put on dusters as well, it gives them extra temperature protection. Rare thrombos. I think we can. I think we can. Mm, we might want to wait until daytime, because I've now remembered that darkness has a speed penalty, which does not seem to affect critters. And thrombos are fracking fast. I don't... Do I actually have faith that I can kite these guys safely and not die? I don't know, but I guess it's going to have to be a question for next time. Oh... How many risks am I willing to take on this run? Some. Some is the answer. I don't know where the thrombos fall on that particular axis. We'll have to find out next time. Folks, thanks all for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.